Hi everybody, this is Marsha Jeans and I'm going to show you how to use Street Level View in Google Tour Builder. I think you'll really like what it can do as you're creating tours to make your tour exciting. So I'm going to show you a couple different examples. So let's look at the first one. This is, if you typed in Taj Mahal, which is in India, this is where the default view that Google Tour Builder takes you, which is okay. Um, at least kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like around it, but it's probably not really what you're going for. You probably want people to, to get a better look. And if you zoom in on it, you know, you're not going to get you're still not really going to get the full effect. You know, that that's okay. So um, what I would suggest that you try is the street level view. So you take this little guy over here in the corner, um, right next to the plus and minus sign, and you drag him. So you're holding it down, your mouse down, and you're dragging him. And if you'll notice, when you do that, um, you have a bunch of blue areas. And there even is like a blue dot over here. Um, all this blue area. So you can just literally take your little guy and drop him in one of the blue areas. And look what you see. It's amazing. It's like you're right there. Um, and you can, you see the little white things. That means you can, um, you know, click on it and actually walk forward that way. You can kind of tilt a little bit. You can... Um, move your mouse around so that you're seeing the different views of this. So isn't that really, really cool? Um, you may have to uh, click exit street view if you don't get the exact view you like the first time, you know, maybe because you don't really know where you're clicking. I'll just show you. I'll try it again and maybe I'll try out here a little further. And there, oh wow, that's a, a further away. So you can try it, and once you've got something that you really like, you can click Add to Tour. And with Taj Mahal, you may even want to put two or three stops in the same location with different views of things. So there's example one. Now here's one that you maybe wouldn't think of. This is a tour um, that somebody created that has a bunch of different hiking trails. So this is the default view when you, you know, type it into Google Tour Builder. So that really gives it kind of a neat idea of what the landscape is like. Um, you probably wouldn't expect to see too many places where you could do street level because there's probably not very many streets here, but let's just take a look. Grab your little guy and notice you've got this line all through here, but you've got a couple places that have dots. Here's one, here's one. Um, let's just drop it on one of these dots. And wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that. It kind of shows you what the rocks look like. And there's the trail. Really gives you like you're, you're truly like you're right there. And again, you can click on this exit street view and you could try a couple different areas. Let me just try right here and see what happens. Ooh, that's where the uh, trailhead starts. Pretty neat. Beautiful rocks, isn't it? So that's an example of um, one, you know, where you're out in nature a little bit. And then let me show you one more. So in a lot of places, you actually can go inside buildings with street level view. And so this is a tour, a little bit about Abraham Lincoln and where he grew up. And then the kind of ends with his um, assassination in the Ford's Theater. So when you do a search for the Ford's Theater, this is the default view you get which isn't very exciting. I mean, at least you can kind of see some of the things around it, but um, but let's do street level view. So you will be kind of amazed. Look at how much is available all around the street. And then you can actually just kind of like almost plop right into the theater itself. If you notice, I'm getting a little mini preview of um, as I do it, because I'm going to try to find the location where, oh, I might have found it right there. Yeah, this one. Okay, you're like, whoa, what's that? But if you kind of scroll around a little bit, a little bit, guess what this is? This is the place right here where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. This is where he was sitting. So if you play around with it a little bit, you can actually kind of get right into that location. It looks like I can come out here. Let's see what this is. Oh, there you can see the door exiting from the theater. So that is just really, really cool. Um, I, I kind of noticed this too while I was doing this Ford Theater. 
Over here is the National Portrait Gallery by uh, Smithsonian. And you can actually go inside the art gallery. I'm just going to take a guess and plop somewhere. Oh, there we go. And you can actually get right inside the art gallery and walk around in the art gallery. So on the inside. That is really amazing, isn't it? So those are three great examples of how you can use that street level view to enhance your tour. Give it a try. It's not too hard to do. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.